baby on this beautiful Thursday morning. Now we local. We a local driver with own authority, all that good stuff. So uh, we delivered last night. I got another low, low top secret low going to a military base. We ain't picking that up until tomorrow. Just going up to the military base and tell them you can't have no felonies and all that. I think, well, I don't know if I've been to this particular military base, but they asked me how much I do low for. I usually say ten dollars a mile for something like that. Tree is like a pneumatic load, but since it's dry, man, I hit him with the seven dollars a mile. I was going uh, 150 miles up to Kentucky, Fort Knox, Kentucky to Nashville, about 150 or 160, something like that. So I told him, man, like I can do it, man. Give it to me for 1400. So went on to send me the Raycon for the 1400. Easy money, baby. Easy money. Fort Knox, shit. Two hours. Two hours up, come back to the house, baby. So that's what we'll be doing. Easy, easy, easy money. You know, how much will other people do the low for? Uh, 150 miles. Uh, I think y'all pulling stuff like that. $400, $500, or something like that. So, you know, just depends who's on the phone. You know, if Andrew's on the phone, Andrew. We at the house with our feet kicked up, and in order for us to roll out of bed to go and handle your load and your situation, it's gonna cost you because we ain't in no rush. Yeah, we ain't in no rush whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. When you own everything, it's less pressure, baby. As a matter of fact, it's no pressure, no pressure, baby. So, you should try it, you should definitely try it. So, you know, we're gonna roll up in there with the classic. Or the flat top, probably the classic. Or the blue truck. Just never know. I gotta go put the glad head on the blue truck. More than likely, it's gonna be the classic, though. Gonna you know, ride up there in style. You know what I'm talking about? It's a military base. 1997, baby. That's what we got going on. Maybe find a little local load of summer days. Maybe JP Hunt got a trailer or something I can move. You know, five miles, 450, something like that. You know, if I get lucky enough, you know, it's now to be having a lot of trailers to move. They don't pay no four fifty though. They usually be at three hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, five miles, ten miles, stuff like that. But uh, Snowder, Knight, and Swift, they don't mess with Andrew. They don't mess with Andrew. Yeah, yeah, I got two years in business. Yeah, you do, Andrew. But you ain't got two inspections on that safer score, Andrew. So until you got two inspections, you cannot haul our freight for absolutely dirt cheap. <laughs> I'm like, cool, and I'm never going to get the inspections either. So yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you think I'm going to get the inspection to haul your freight for free? Are you out of your mind? Uh, yeah, I get an inspection whenever I get one. You know, maybe, you know, 5,000 years from now. You just never know. Uh, but we go through all the scale houses. Go through all the scale houses. They love to give us the green light. And, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Deuces, we keep it rolling. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Besides, once Andrew you get the lights fixed on this classic, we ain't got nothing to worry about anyway. So, you know, about all that ain't get me on some lights. You know, we EOD and zip, baby, so... You know, they got to be used to seeing that new paper law. Andrew keep a fresh, fresh shiny book. Fresh shiny book of paper laws, baby. We don't go that far for e-laws and all that stuff that matters. So, you know, I'm just a local driver. You know, we definitely get our 10 hour break in. So, you know, occasionally for some big money, I go out far, but just a local driver, baby. And we finna go to the house, put our head back in these books. This insurance, because we gonna get that insurance license, baby. I don't care if I never use it. We gonna get that insurance license. Yeah, we gonna get it, baby. Uh, like I told you, any day of the week, baby, where them keys at? Get, any day of the week, we can turn a key and get some money with some trucks. Oh, uh, that's easy. All that getting money with the trucks, that's easy. We got that down pat. That right there, that's any day of the week, baby. Uh, but learn a new skill now. Whoo, learn a new skill. That's something different. That's something different. 
uh, yeah, but getting money with the trust, that's old. That's, yeah, that's old right there. That's, that's just whenever you you feel like waking up and getting some money, see how easy it is, like, right there in my head. You know, I'm just out here asking for it. So, you know, that's easy. Yeah, that's too easy. And everything be empty trailers, except, well, except the military. That's fully loaded, baby. I don't know what they, they wouldn't tell me what I was hauling. They just said, hey, look, top secret mission. And you get into the military base in Fort Knox, you know, I said, yeah, I can do all that shoe shine for you. They said, cool, can you do it, you know, during this specific time? I said, oh, they want me to run like that, okay. Yeah, I'm going to run with the blacked out stealth, you know, classic. It's all stealthed out. Don't nobody know nothing. Except the people I just told on YouTube, right? <laughs> Anyways, so uh, that's what we got coming up, you know, first military load under authority. You know, uh, we doing some over the weekend. I don't think so. I don't think I'm doing anything over the weekend other than studying. Yeah, energy doing a whole lot of studying. So for the go home, maybe I look and see if it's some local freight. Maybe I won't. I probably won't. Uh oh, Evelyn is coming through. I just take the day off, man, get my head in these books, learn new skill, baby. The rap class, that's all the way in October. That's going to be a minute. Speaking of that, I need to go by there and see what's actually going on. I need to put my eyes on now. You know, I'm talking about trying to learn how to rap, rap a car, tear the windows. You know I'm saying get those skills. Go get those skills here. Tells me I should take streetway. How bad is it? I'm already in traffic. Hopefully it ain't too bad. Hopefully we're here. Wherever he going to the interstate. Did y'all know time ran out? They said time ran out on them folks. That's a damn shame. Damn time that ran out. They ever gonna find it? I don't. I don't think they gonna find it at all. I don't think they gonna find it at all. Uh, I think they on the internet lying. Yeah, that's what I think. I think the news is lying to y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the news is completely a lie. Yeah, they searching for them all right uh, on the top of the uh, ocean. Yeah, they doing that type of search on the top of the ocean. They ain't down off in there on the, uh, the uh, ocean floor looking for nothing. Because they ain't got no equipment to go down on the ocean floor to look for nothing. Okay, so they is not... Uh, it, let's just say the vessel was down by the Titanic. They don't have nothing, no type of ship, nothing to go down there to pull them back up whatsoever. They ain't never invented that to go down there to pull nothing back up. Now they claim they didn't put the only remote vehicle on planet Earth that's capable of reaching to go down there, some type of rock, robotic machine, but uh, yeah, it can't pull you back up. So, you know, all they can do is spot you. So, yeah, I'm just confused at uh, what the game plan is. There is no game plan. Uh, so, that's the part they forgot to tell you on the news is there is absolutely no game plan if them folks was on the ocean floor, even if they did find them. They ain't got no way to pull them back up. So, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, they're going to try to use the robotic device if they were stuck, you know, maybe to push them or something, but I don't think they stuck on that. No, I don't think they stuck. I don't think they stuck. I don't think they stuck. No, no, no. no. Too many clues. Too many clues. Let me know when the news was talking. They, they gave some vital clues, some vital clues to let me know what really happened. First clue was they had to sign the waiver. They did, they did. They had to sign the waiver. What did the waiver say? It said, uh, yeah, if you get on this to board this ship right here, first off, you're gonna be two hundred fifty thousand. You got to pay that before you even sign. So don't give up. Hand that over. Had just we just asking for it up front, baby. Put it in the head. Okay, they're gonna sign this waiver that says. 
if you dare step foot up in this thing right here, uh, this may be your last time being seen alive, okay? So they hit the sign that. So that was the first clue. That was the first clue. The second and the biggest clue that they wasn't, you know, these wasn't gonna go right was, yeah, oh, uh, you know, you use this goddamn PlayStation controller to steer this motherfucker. Woo! Woo! Boy, you got a red flash went up in my head, boy. Oh. Oh. We can't, we can't, we can't do this. No, we can't. We can't do this. Oh, immediately. Out of and off the show. Oh. Immediately. Minute they said something about a PlayStation controller and steer this motherfucker, it'll have been over with. Absolutely not. Absolutely. That sounds like bad engineering, bad design, bad everything. But we gon' we gonna make it look cool on the news. Yeah, man, you know, you just control the ship, you know, with a PlayStation controller. I mean, you know, it's new technology. Come on, baby. Stop. Stop. So, uh, yeah, yeah, time did run out. Uh, clue number three. Clue number three. Uh, the Titanic went down in 1912. I believe 1912, 1911, something like that. They didn't find the Titanic until about, shit, what, 80 years later? I think like 1980s, 1970s, I think 1980s. It was like 70, 70 or 80 years later. That's when they found the Titanic, okay? And that was a massive ship, okay? Now, in 2023, they trying to find a needle, not in a haystack, no, no, a haystack is too big. They trying to find a needle uh, in the motherfucking ocean. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. They tried, they did. They, they look. Clue number three. They heard some banging noise. They heard some banging. They don't know what the banging noise was. Sonar picked it up. They got to analyze the clips. It can take a couple of days to analyze. We heard some banging noise. We sent all the ships towards the banging noise. It's not making no sense whatsoever. Ran out 
they could still be alive, okay? They probably could survive another ooh, 48 hours pushing it. I'm gonna say 24. 40, maybe 48. It just appears, you know. They will have to try to you know, use as less oxygen as possible, no talking, go to sleep, no movements, try to control their breather, you know, you know, less oxygen to the brain cells, so they, they can extend the oxygen that's left in the damn thing, but like I said, they looking for a needle in the ocean, so I'm just telling you that the Titanic took 70 to 80 years so fine, okay, and they wouldn't go down, they, they, I mean, I'm just saying, it could possibly take needle in a haystack 80 and 80, 160 or 160 years is how long it could possibly take to find that vessel, but best believe after seven days, nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody is going to be looking for this vessel uh, in the ocean, unless they have some gold or something up in there, they have some gold, I heard there was a billionaire on board. Did he, what, what did he have on him? Did he have something that's worth uh, still looking for the past seven days? Because I'm confused. Is that the wreck? That looked like the wreck. Yep, that's the wreck. Whole interstate shut down. Yep, I knew it. They can't drive. We got to go towards Knoxville. What that say? Oh, the lane closed. Okay. Lane closed. Shit, can I, can I squeeze in through somebody? Guess one of these truck drivers slipping going to the damn slow holding up traffic. Maybe I can get them right quick. One time for the one time. You know I'm about to get you right. Skirt! One time for the one time. Baby, come on! You guys to be quicker than that? You guys to be quicker than that? Yeah, I waited till the last second. I did. Come on! Say he made a million dollars. Don't think it's over with. They gonna wait about three, four years. There you are. They gonna come up with another cruise, another one of these ships. They ain't gonna tell y'all nothing about it. They just gonna drop it in the ocean. And if it go down good, you ain't gonna hear nothing about it. They get stuck again. Best believe you gonna hear this story all over again. Like damn, don't this sound familiar? It do sound familiar, don't it? They ain't done. No, not when when they found out people was ready. You see they went up to space, right? How much was those tickets to space? Now that was a difference though. See, when they went up to space, they got on a rocket ship that had been tested over and over and over. Now this thing right here the dude made in his backyard, that wasn't no testing involved. Yeah, he didn't go down to the Titanic five times before he put some humans up there now. No, no, they didn't do that, baby. They didn't do that. Cause it ain't regulated. See what happened when you don't want to regulate nothing? See, now he done went there they see. Ooh, hey, 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 you gonna volunteer to do it, baby? Make history. And my question is, why we didn't hear about this before they went down? Why we heard about this uh, when the oxygen, when the oxygen about to run out? Now they want to put it on the news. <laughs> Think about if you would have heard about this shit before they even got on. The One, oh, two, oh, six, see. zero, well, two, two, zero, nine, zero, zero, seven, zero. Oh, that's, that's the money calling for the military load. We're going to catch y'all later two, on today. Six, 